Greetings citizens of Grand Haven. We are Anonymous g -hops. Today we celebrate May Day by playing our role in the World Wide Wave of Action. We wish to enlighten you as to the power you hold, how to use it, and who is backing you up. With all the chaos around us it can be easy to assume we have no power. We can find ourselves enveloped in fear, thinking the only way forward is to destroy the old and create something new. The Opera Kips and Anonymous g -hops would like to show you a different way. The power over our city does not rest in the hands of only a few lucky individuals. We all have this power. Unfortunately only a small percent of us realize this. You, your ideas, and your voice not only matter, they are powerful, but only when you choose to step up. Our leadership cannot read minds, they need to hear from you. If you fail to even attempt to be heard then you allow others to speak for you and then you live in their world. In this video we will express our views on how you may be heard and some things you can do to get your message to our fellow citizens. The city of Grand Haven is geographically beautiful, and so is its diverse culture. We have, as a community built the ways and means of governing ourselves in a peaceful and civil manner. Though there are times we have failed, we have not forgotten our way. Over the years our city has taken the initiative to join the modern technology age. The city has a website and a YouTube channel. Information on all things pertaining to our local democracy can be found on such website. If you wish to communicate with an official, contact information is on the website. If you cannot make it to city council meetings watch them on YouTube. Furthermore, the Grand Haven Tribute not only attempts to engage us all with a plethora of articles, they have an online presence which allows commenting, and even does so somewhat quote-unquote anonymously. This means you can communicate with others in your community without fear of retaliation, allowing us all to get our voice heard in the public forum. Sometimes it's the comments which carry more power and influence than the articles themselves. If you don't see something you are interested in commenting on, then you can email the paper and request a topic of your choosing, they just may publish it or do their own story on it. Though some may use the freedom of commenting to troll others for various reasons, we can all use this experience to strengthen our communication skills and learn how to respect the freedom of speech. Here is an example of what one citizen chose to do with a concern. Let us first state that the city claimed to have no public complaints on this issue until notified by Wood TV8. We want to show you some, some of this video, those sidewalks covered in more than a foot of snow in some places, making it impossible for people to walk. Now this is in Grand Haven, along US 31. You emailed us about the problem, and 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker took your complaints to the assistant city manager. She's joining us now live with what action is being taken. Heather. Up and down US 31 in Grand Haven, the sidewalks are tough for anyone to navigate. The snow from parking lots have been piled into big mounds that reach all the way to the road, so you have no option but to walk through it. The city ordinance says sidewalks with three or more inches of snow must be cleared. This is way more than three inches. I think somebody should do something and get on the store owners and say, hey, it's got to stop. So we asked the assistant city manager to. I had that conversation with them. They both assured me that they would get out immediately to address that issue. The businesses were given 12 hours to clear the sidewalks. Tomorrow, um, around 3 or 4 o'clock, I'll contact those uh, business owners again to make sure that we gain compliance. And people forget uh, that's okay, they just need the reminder and we don't have any shame in making that phone call. Now if these aren't cleared by tomorrow, those businesses could face fines. The city is run by complaints for these, so if you would like to file one, we have info up at woodtv.com. Now, the assistant city manager tells me we were the first one to bring your complaints to them today. We, of course, will follow up tomorrow. Well, tonight we are helping get sidewalks cleared in Grand Haven after exposing a dangerous problem there. We broke the story last night at 11 o'clock. Pedestrians put in peril after several businesses left more than a foot of snow on their sidewalks, and since then, they have been cleared. And that's because 24-hour news 
News 8's Heather Walker followed up on that story. Heather, what happened? Well, Sue, yesterday I was standing next to a mound of snow. Today I'm actually in a walkway, and it is the business's responsibility to clear these. The city gave them 12 hours. We followed up, and you can see the results. A lot of people have to walk down those roads, and if they uh, can't, they, they, especially out here on the main road, you can't walk down the main road. You'll end up getting killed. We got your complaint about McDonald's and preferred Ford. The city gave them a call. And today, by noon, McDonald's sidewalks were clear. Preferred Ford had plows out, but the walk wasn't touched. So we went to talk to the manager. You guys are aware that you have till 4 o'clock today, I believe? Yep. We checked back around 2. A plow was clearing the walk. We're just wondering why they weren't cleared before we asked. I don't know. We've been working on a lot and uh, just haven't gotten to that part yet. Thank you for making the effort to bring that to attention. There are other businesses with covered sidewalks, but this ordinance is only enforced by complaints. If you have a complaint, we have info at woodtv.com. The city of Grand Haven says they're too busy trying to keep these roads clear. Live in Grand Haven, Heather Walker, 24-hour news Day. So, in all reality, this concerns citizen sort of jump lines of communication, going over the city's head, and contacting a video news crew. Nonetheless, it was effective. It showed not only will local news crews back up citizens and their concerns, but that our local officials are willing to request local adherence to guidelines which local businesses comply to. To the leadership of Grand Haven, you to our citizens, and as the leadership of our community you should be more aware of local conditions than the average citizen. We urge you to remember that you also have a voice. Email yourselves, if you have to be more aware and somewhat more concerned to the business owners and operators involved you could have been better citizens by not needing a nudge in the first place but in the end you did comply with requests furthermore we say to you all if the city or local businesses are not keeping up on things and you do not bring it to their attention do something yourself in this incident others could have pitched in and shoveled sidewalks around town, including those of us here at g -Hops. From time to time we have all, to some degree, let our city down. So, as we stated, we have shown you some options as to what you, as a citizen can do to help our community. Yet there is so much more we can all do, and we can have fun doing it. Stay informed get active. Start communicating. Do not be afraid of each other. Do not fear our leaders. Do not shy from authority. We are all the same, we are human. Before we allow others to coerce our thoughts towards apathy or violence, let us push forward with a more enlightened atmosphere. We know there is an abundance of citizens learning to play a role in their community. It's time to quit hiding and show what you have to offer. Let's be creative and see what the culture of Grand Haven really looks like. Do not wait for someone else to lead the way, be the change. The citizens of Earth are writing a new history. Connected, protected, and helped by the Internet. There is more than just the NSA watching us. That said, let us all do our part to make the future what we dreamed it could be, for everyone. Once you stand up do not sit back down, when you see who is next to you. Support the actions, not the person. Stand for reason, not party. At a basic level we all want the same things, but until we accept each other and our differences we cannot stand as one on any issue. Concentrate on the issue at hand, one at a time. Find where we have common ground and build from there. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.